Hello and thank you for joining me in this video where I will explain the difference between relative and absolute cell references. This is because of a question that was asked for me on my Excel VLOOKUP for calculation of grades video on Step by Step by Miriam. So let's begin. I'm going to select cell A1 here and I'm going to just enter a few figures and turn around column A. Now in column B I require a formula because what I would like this formula to do, I would like the formula in each of the cells along column B to equal the value in cells in column A. So a simple formula will do this for me. So I put in equals A1 and press my enter key. And of course the program then does exactly as it's told. Now as I use my fill handle which means that I move my pointer to the bottom right hand corner of cell B1 and simply hold down my mouse button when the thin black cross which is known as the fill handle shows up. When that shows up then I just hold down my mouse button and drag it down and this will copy the formula. For example if I select cell B2 and have a look at the formula bar here in the formula bar it says equals A2. Now keep one eye on the formula bar. If I press my enter key it says equals A3, equals A4, equals A5 and so on. It does this because in cell B1 I initially entered what's called a relative reference equals A1. It is relevant to the given position on the workbook. So when I copy down then it has to copy the next one down and when I copy down again it has to copy the next one down on the left again and so on. What happens if I don't want this process to take place? In other words I would like all these cells to equal the contents of A1. Well then I must employ what's called an absolute cell reference and I do this by putting in equals A1 I can now of course press my F4 function key which will make this an absolute and again have a look at my formula bar because an absolute cell reference has two dollar signs. One of the dollar signs is in front of the column letter and the other is in front of the row number. This instructs the program to make cell A1 absolute only refer to column A and then the next part only refer to row 1. So obviously if you can only refer to column A and only refer to row 1 then that's cell A1. So it makes that cell an absolute and I simply press my enter key. Now if I copy this down that absolute cell reference should not move. So let me copy it down. And again let me just go back into cell B2 and have a look at your formula bar. It doesn't say equal A2, it says equals A1. And if I enter, just to go down again to B3, it doesn't say equal A3, it says again equal A1, equal A1, equal A1, the entire way down. So when we don't want a reference to adjust, when something is copied down, as in my VLOOKUP for grades, video. Here you can see, I'm not sure if this will come out okay on this video, but here you will see that the results, we are depending, this is the grades table, and it is dependent on the result here along column G. So if we say equals this cell by this, this by this, it will begin to copy both down. But by making this table here absolute, so by making this grid absolute the cell on the left even though we can move down must always refer back to here it's a VLOOKUP part of the formula go back here constantly go back here don't move down anywhere else so you can go to the left okay but constantly move over here and take a look at this table so I hope that has explained the significance of when you require a relative reference, no dollar signs, and when you would require an absolute
cell reference. Let me just show you again on this little uh, exercise. Here I would like to calculate the VAT. In Ireland, VAT stands for Value Added Tax. This is our tax. So now I would like to calculate the tax rate for all my items along column B. And here's my VAT rate. Here's my tax rate in cell H1. So now I'm going to say equals B3 multiplied by H1. If I leave it like this, and I will just for the example, and press my enter key, it will calculate the first one. But watch what happens when I copy it down. It comes up with zero. Why does it do this? Well, if I select cell C4 and look at my formula bar, it says come down one, which it did to B4, multiply it by the cell over here and come down one again because we did not put any dollar signs to make this absolute so it's allowed to come down, come down, come down, come down and so on. So that's not correct. So I'm going to just highlight this, take it out and we'll do it again correctly this time. So equal the cell to the left and again multiplied by H1. But if you press the F4 function key you will make H1 absolute. In other words multiply all the cells to the left by cell H1. So this time when I go in here and I copy it down, all the cells to the left are now multiplied by the contents of H1. The nice thing about this is if I change cell H1, Irish government is getting very generous and so watch how all the figures along column C will automatically recalculate. Ta -da. The total cost, now here our form is equals this plus, of course, plus our tax, we always have to pay our taxes, yeah. It's a relative reference this time because it's each one, it's each price plus the tax, each price plus the tax, the entire way down, no absolutes this time. So again, I just go back in here and copy it down. So I hope this has explained, you know, the answer to your question. Um, if not, um, you drop me another little note um, if you need it explained any further and I would be happy to do so. Okay, thanks for watching. And you can check out my other videos on Step by Step by Miriam. They're on YouTube.